guys, it's your girl Key. And your boy Ken. And we're gonna get just right for you. But before we do, hit that subscribe button. And the like button. All right, we're gonna get into it. So this is our first video. So we're gonna tell you guys about us. You guys send us some questions via social media and we're gonna get right to it. Okay. <clears throat> First expression. All right, so first question, of course, is how did we meet? Um, We met on social media. She inboxed me first, though, so. That's what he says. <laughs> I, I don't recall whatever. That's what he says. But then, you know, I was focusing on myself. I really wasn't trying to get into no relationship. Like so, like you know. Took us a couple months, but then we got into it. And once I started talking to him on a daily, we just clicked and we've talked almost every day since. Like, yeah. and the other question is, how long have we been dating? And it's been like a year and a half. At the end of this month, and it's been, been a, it's been a long year. Like, I just want you to know that. Why? Because <laughs> for me, it's been long and treacherous. Okay. <laughs> Long and treacherous. Cool. It's been it's been good. We we've grown a lot. Um so you know he from Mississippi. <laughs> Everybody know how that is. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all hear that though. Anybody from Mississippi that's watching, man. Hey, he, he represents, so I don't know why you wouldn't follow us, you know what I'm saying? If he represents <laughs> Mississippi. Oh well. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. So, okay, so what are y'all's zodiac signs? I'm an Aquarius, of course, and you know how us Aquarius do. It's Virgo season for me, so birthday in a couple of days, so. Going to Miami. Yes, sir. Gonna turn up, wait for the vlogs on this, okay? We got the jet skis coming. We got, I don't think we should, we shouldn't say too much. We shouldn't say too much. Just stay tuned. Okay? So. What was our first trip as a couple? Uh, we traveled to Jacksonville to meet my fam for 4th of July. It was a pretty fun trip though for our first trip together. But yeah, it was fun. 4th of July, we went to the beach. Did we even see fireworks? I think we missed yeah, the fireworks. Yeah, we missed it because we was at the beach for too long. It started, it started raining, yeah, it remember? Started raining, it started yeah. to storm. You know how Florida is, you know, it, it goes storm. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know. I don't know about that. What is the first movie that we watched together? I, I'm going to be real with you. I totally forgot. Like, I don't <laughs> One word. Aquaman. Oh. <laughs> if you knew the story behind it. <laughs> Ooh, oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> I think I scarred him with life with that one. He was very brave. <laughs> Stay tuned. Comment below. If you want to hear the story of our first date, okay, comment right now <laughs> after you subscribe. <laughs> what is a food you don't like? Um, I really eat anything to be honest except but I, vegetables or anything healthy. yeah i really hate asparagus i hate it she tried to make me eat it it he tastes like water it tastes zucchini it tastes like straight water it's disgusting I no you it. like the asparagus that i made you don't like zucchini. i mean no zucchini that's what i meant to say zucchini i hate zucchini with a passion what about you you haven't said anything. He like he liked zucchini because I made zucchini um noodles, you know what I'm saying? And it was a, <laughs> it was pasta with zucchini noodles and shrimp. And he loved it. He ate it. So I don't know why you lying. <laughs> what is yours? You know what Um you? I mean a plethora of things. I don't like peanut butter. I don't like oranges. She don't um, like protein. It can help her. Indeed. Uh, meat give me protein. Um, what else don't I like? What's the main food that I really... I don't know. We'll know when we get there. And when we try to eat it, I'll let y'all know. <laughs> like this. 
What do we do for work? Um, I'm a pest control tech. He got his own truck. It's kind of yeah. I got my own truck. It kind of it kind of it's a good thing because I like to watch them die. <laughs> I like to watch them die. So it means it's bugs, interesting. Not people. Yeah, yeah. I mean bugs. I mean bugs. Um, <laughs> let me get that correct. I mean bugs. <laughs> <laughs> a little background, um, we recently graduated from college, well not too, too recently, but within the last year or two, we both um, graduated from college, degrees are right there, um, but college is a scam, <laughs> it's a scam, it's a scam, I mean, I'm not saying don't do it, but I'm just saying if you don't know what you want to do yet, don't go to college because they talk about I'm not going I'm not going to encourage you not to go to college but make sure you have your plan before you enter college because you don't want to just go get a degree that have no purpose for it man make sure you you got to I'm going to encourage you to go to college but know what you want to do I don't know she's been she's in bad form so I'm not bad form <laughs> <laughs> No I'm just what he said but <clears throat> Um, make sure you do internships. Important, important. Get you gonna have to get the experience before you get out. Because when you get out, they're gonna be like, you need you like seven it. years of experience. You're gonna have to start you working since you're one so. years old. So <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing my own thing. So <clears throat> bringing it back to what we do. Um, I went to school for interior design. That's awesome. Shout out to my girls, you know, who was in the program with me for three years. We made it out two years ago. Um, but I am, I do caregiving by night. I do real estate by day. And I also help my dad flip houses. So it kind of all works together. My interior design, my real estate. And then I just do caregiving just because, you know, just need to, I don't, I'm not going to stress over selling the house. I'm too young for that. So I just need something consistent, easy. What is your favorite thing about one another or something that you appreciate? He can read people. He can read me. And he calls me out on my BS. So, sometimes, not all the time, because you know me and Aquarius, but like 1% of the time we be tripping. You know what I'm saying? It's not much, but about 1% of the time we be tripping. So, when I am, he calls me out. And 0.5% of the time, he'd be right. You know what I'm saying? After I get a little... All the time, so... Okay. <laughs> no, no, it's not. 0.5% of the time, when he called me out, you know what I'm saying? After the 1% that I be tripping. Um, you know, I think about it after I calm down a little bit. I'll be like, you know, he a little bit right. He a little bit right. So, that's what I appreciate about him. Um, he's very kind and loving. He would give his last to a homeless person because he has. You know, Starting a college student gave his last ten dollars to a woman and a child. You know what I'm saying? So he has a big heart, and I really appreciate that about him. The thing I appreciate about her, though, is she she kept me on my feet. She makes sure I don't slack. She makes sure she makes sure I head towards the goal that I want to be in life. So. That's a good thing because you need somebody like that in your life because you don't want to fall on the wayside. You need somebody to motivate you and force you to do the things that you need to do to help you be successful or do anything to achieve anything. So that's what I love about her though. So. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's what us Aquarius do. I'm representing you. Represent. Um, that's, I go for most of the Aquarius, most of my Aquarius friends, we like that, you know what I'm saying? What? It is a pet peeve or something you don't like about your partner. I do not have all day. I don't have all day. I don't have Cause I got a list. You wanna see it? <laughs> I have a list. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm gonna tell you my pet peeve is when we going on dates, it take her seven hours just to get ready. Boy, it take me an hour and that's average. Ladies, ladies, it's average. That's, that, the includes, movie, that includes shower at all. The Who movie shower? starts at 7 p.m. 
we'll be um she need to get dressed like 5 p.m. or something like no, that. No, no, Because no. she takes so long to get dressed. That is a pet peeve. Bro. That is so cap. Go get you. That is, that's cap. <laughs> that's cap. You need to go to Liz because that's so mm -hmm. cap. That's cap. Like, ladies, it takes me an hour to get ready on average. And that includes beat face, that faces, is, feet, edges, leg, hair done. An hour and 30. That's what it takes. If, I'm, if we're going on a nice date, yeah, I'm going to take extra time, yeah. But on average, including shower, makeup, hair, clothes on, it takes me about an hour, hour ten tops. You know what I'm saying? It's my face, okay? So I'm not going to rush. I'm not going to rush. And on average, that's most women. That's most women. You can say an hour to get ready. They're going to be like, yeah, most, majority of women, makeup and all. So, comment below, ladies, please. Comment below. Next question. I didn't say my pet peeve about you. Don't try to scurry. <laughs> Don't try to scurry on past that because I didn't tell. You. I didn't say my pet peeve. Who? Let me think. I gotta think of a nice one. <laughs> so my biggest pet peeve is I believe all guys do this. Why don't y'all put stuff back where you got it? Why is that so hard? Why? Just if you if you pick it up, if you get it out the cabinet, put it back. If you got it out of the closet, you're not gonna wear it, hang it back up. If it's water, if it's trash, put it in the trash can. I just don't understand. Ladies, does your man do this? Man, comment below and tell me why, because I don't get it. Why? I don't get it. I don't get it. Alright guys, so that concludes our video. Please comment if you like it. Some other videos that we can do. We do have videos in the pipeline already. Just gotta edit them, upload them. Um, stay tuned for later on this week. We're going to Miami. We leave Wednesday night. And we're gonna be in Miami for his birthday. He's about to be the big 2-5. We're about to be an OG, you guys. But again, comment down below. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Peace.